hello guys if i could still remember vividly where i stopped the day before yesterday i stopped at the rigging and i said i'll come back to finish the weight painting so today i'm gonna be doing the uh, weight painting so uh i'm sorry i couldn't upload a video yesterday i thought i would be able to upload video but um because i was kind of too busy with um my then kind of learning javascript so i'm so sorry guys so today i will be um painting at the weight of this guy which is called weight painting you know the essence of weight painting is to um you know actually when you have a bone you have joints there is um a limit to which um your joint should work on your skin that is um a particular like this let's um take this elbow for example if we don't paint this guy let me move this guy see um this is not normal see as this thin fold check your hands fold your elbow and see how it looks it shouldn't be like this the same thing to um this head so we might just treat the head and probably the neck and um when i said i'm wasting the time my time i'll just stop the recording and just you guys will just continue the rest so um let's take this head for example this is the head and this um skin or the um this mesh has not been the uh, the weight has not been painted so see let me rotate this guy's head you can see the mouth how the mouth looks like that is because uh, we still not painted this bone here it's not been affected by this or probably it fades out or it's great so we need to play, paint the head, whole head for this um this bone head bone we need to paint the head so that when you uh move this guy this mouth will not be uh like this it will move the whole head with their mouth as you can see if you know that the mouth is um on is with the head so whenever you move the head the mouth should move alongside with the head but this mouth here wants to stay still at that particular place so we need to wait uh, to paint the weight so that this weight will be equal to the weight of the head and when we move the head we can move the mouth alongside to hit so that is what we'll be doing so i'm just gonna undo this guy and we'll take this head and paint this head and we can go because this head is um, kind of tough because we have a lot of let me take this we have some other components inside so you can see the mouth we have the mouth and we might have issue painting this mouth also so i will walk you guys through how to do the whole thing so let me unselect this so uh i'm just gonna go to skin and paint skin with so paint skin width let me go to this so if i go to this place this thing doesn't show here that's because i've not selected the mesh instead i selected the bone so i need to select the mesh before i can see the list of the joints that i want to paint here so i want to paint the head bone so i'll just um and select this guy and i can come back to that paint um too so i'll look for the head bone let's see quick character head so I have my head at the head here. So um, I can adjust this. But before we um, start the painting, let me go down here. You, you can see we are using this guy's soft brush. You can use that discussion. I never use that. I always use this. And the paint operations should, should be on replace. And mode should be on paint. So come to opacity and increase that to 1 and the value to 1. So we are good to go. Don't tamper with this guy flawed. Don't tamper with this guy. I'm saying, okay. So um, let me go on. So this is the guy I want to paint, and this is the head. I've selected the head bone. That is the head. It's the head I want to paint. As you can see, see the mouth. You see, there is no much painting here. See, and this is even the partial paint. This is like half of the um, the full opacity. You know, we have um, one here. This is like 0.5, and this doesn't uh, include any paint at all. It's limited the paint here is, is so small that is why we're leaving the mouth um, behind when we move the head the other time so we need to paint air, all this air in uniform so we need um one opacity full value for this head so i'll start now so all you need to do you can increase the brush size as you can see we have half and we have the size just press b and um left drag the mouse 
to the right so it's increase it and take it back to reduce the size so that is how to go about the size so i'm just gonna paint paint everything and deal with that mouth so that we won't leave the mouth behind the okay? so paint all this you need to be changing the perspective so that you can see where you've not paint so i think paint all this place paint it to the neck view it from this side and paint this um uh, what do we call that place i don't know so uh let me move this guy up i think i'm having his job yeah so let me continue painting so think of if um you were me you probably think that we are through with this head but we are not we still have some organs or some components or some meshes inside the head so we need to zoom in uh, and bypass this place and see this is probably the mouth and this is not painted so we need to paint this um let's see again this eyes here this side so let's uh check this guy from the back and check it check him from the back and zoom in so we have this place and this is the tongue we need to paint the tongue also so paint those paint all this place paint 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 yeah i think we're good to go let's check it and see if we are good to go truly so i'm just gonna select this guy and rotate it again and see what we have see we are leaving something behind so you can see we have something here that means we've not um painted that place that is why it's um um the rotation is taking him along so we need to undo and go back to the painting and check that guy that just moved now select the mesh go back to the painting and check him from this side we should see him from this side yes this is the place so we need to paint this guy oops I see something now yes this hair the head is the i think it's the most difficult um um part to paint you're always leaving something behind not painting and that will cause an issue big issue so see you can see this place i've not painted this place so i need to paint all this place this place paint it well so let's check it out again so select this guy and rotate again rotate think i'm still leaving something behind here let's me select this side yes i'm leaving something behind definitely leaving something behind oops that wouldn't work so i think i need to find it myself yes this is it this part i don't know that part but i know it's something part of it so i need to paint this yes finally finally yes this side this part this part not path path is different it's a different thing entirely so let me check from this side yes i saw something now yes this part so i need to paint every damn thing i can see on painted so that when i'm done and i move something so we didn't leave that thing behind let's check this out and see yes you can see we're good to go now i think that guy is no more dead and we can move him to anywhere we want to move him to and see you see that see it so you see we are good to go now that is because we found um places where we're supposed to paint very well and we were able to paint those places and that is how to go about uh, painting the head actually the head is the most difficult part um checking those um the other things here you wouldn't have issue with this and your work is even limited i can see so um that is how to go about painting um with painting so thank you guys for watching i hope you love this like this thumbs up share with friends and subscribe thank you please subscribe and i know you guys are full of support i you support the lots thank you so much so i am going is saying that we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so Peace, 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 it's peace, not peace, it's peace.
So peace out.